Hey guys, Stack Bradford here with some more hot Akuma intel. I just watched a bunch of mid-level Akuma replays and took note of things I'm just not seeing enough of. And so I thought I'd make a little list to add to your tool set to hopefully increase that win rate. So let's get to it. Let's start with crouch light kick conversions. I know it's just a little tiny kick to the foot, but I am not seeing this enough. And look at that yield. I know that's not a lot of damage, but it got the knockdown. Look at this, another knockdown. Easy. I, and I can I slip it into a little frame trap like this. Oh, see, you he probably tried to walk away or something. Who knows? I don't know, but he's dead now. And you get this in the corner. Look at this corner damage off of just a crouch like I'm not seeing enough of this. I promise. I always tell people, if you're not using light attacks in your frame traps, you got to implement it now. Let's move on. Let's move on to less VT air fireball. And I know what you're thinking. That's powerful as hell. Why would I want to give that up? Look at one, two, three is done. Nothing. You get four regular fireballs for that same price. Check that out. Look at all that. Look at, do you see all that block damage, by the way? What the hell? Make sure when you use V-Trigger, you're, you're getting some yield out of it. It's one of the best in the game. You want to make sure that you get all the freaking juice from every squeeze. You know what I'm saying? And if anyone is ready for it, they're just going to smack you out anyway. I'll smack you out of here. I don't care. Now let's get to Demon Flip Oki. Demon Flip is all right by itself in neutral, but really, when you get a knockdown like this, it gets an opponent who doesn't have a good reversal option, maybe like Balrog. There's not a whole lot he could do about that, especially if you time it right. If you can, you can actually cover a back roll and a quick rise if you just time that puppy just right. And you can do this from an all types of different knockdowns. Look, even in the conversion that we were just talking about earlier. Look at this, smack him right in the fucking head. Now we gotta talk about the essential confirms, and I know what you're thinking. Yeah, he's gonna talk about crouch medium kick. You gotta confirm it to crouch medium. You gotta convert the crouch medium kick though. It's really important. It just gives your opponent one more thing that they have to think about, and you get a little knockdown from there. But what we don't talk about too much is the crouch medium punch. You press it thinking it's going to get blocked and you don't do anything about it. But you've got to be ready for it to hit and you get so much out of it. And even counter hits, stand medium kick counter hit is big and crouch medium kick counter hit. Check this out. Boom, boom, done. Next up, versatile CC sweep VTC setups. What are you even talking about? We all like this 50-50 big boy confirm. Look at that. So much damage and totally, totally cheap in a mix up. But this isn't always applicable. Look, you're too close. And I, I see this a lot. Like, what the hell is that? That's not going to get you anywhere. Sometimes it's good to take a safe route. Look at it. You can dash, dash, dash. Get a little of that. And it's got a little mix-up too. Check this out. If you, you could instead do the throw instead of a medium punch. It's, you know, it's not the biggest damage in the world, but you get something out of it. You could do the same thing, but get yourself out of the corner like this. Same exact situation. Instead of crutch medium punch, you could do a throw and get yourself a little mix-up. And just like I mentioned earlier about the Demon Flip Oki on Wake Up on certain characters, that works well too. On to MK Tatsu with Punishing. I'm not talking about with Punishing with MK Tatsu. I'm talking about connecting it from Stand Medium Kick or Back Heavy Punch. I know it seems kind of crazy to look at. Like, oh, when am I ever going to use that? This comes in handy against characters like Abigail, like Zangief, with these far range pokes that that's the only way can connect. LK Tatsu is straight up whiff. And you can't have that against these types of characters. You know, at some point we had to talk about demons, right? What the hell is an Akuma tip video when you're not talking about demons? We all have our cute little knockdown setup demons with a demon flip palm whiff. Or you could do something like this with a stand heavy kick just to trick them. But the real powerful ones are the ones that you do in neutral. V skill kick demon, super cheap. Dash demon, probably even cheaper than that. And see how fast? If you can learn the technique, you can do this super fast. The Stand Heavy Punch Kara Demon, it doesn't even get cheaper than that. Right, look how fast the Dash Demon is. As soon as you get that down, you're increasing your win rate by at least 80%. We've got to talk about Demon Flip Dive Kick. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised at how infrequently I see this. I mean, anti-airs are like the easiest thing in this game. Everyone's got some stupid button that covers everything. But Akuma has all the options you need in some way or another. Look at it. Try to jump in. No luck. I'm going to give you a little EX Demon Flip for your trouble. See what I'm saying? This helps out big time. It's, it's all different types for all different reasons. There's an HK Demon Flip to beat Birdie's stupid ass anti-air too. Moving on to side switching. We're about to lose our most essential side switch and V-Skill kick. So we've got to make sure we know how to do the other ones. Like from EX DP, do a V-Trigger cancel, the back heavy punch DP to switch sides here. V-Skill kick and EX. I don't know how long this one's going to last too since V-Skill kick is getting nerfed, but we'll see about that. Light red fireball activate into back heavy punch DP also side switches. It takes a little bit of practice depending on where you are on the screen, so be sure to practice that first. Crush counter, crush fierce into V-Skill K also side switches, but for how long, really? Last and definitely not least, the V-Trigger HP DP, five frames of absolute fucking mayhem. Just totally destroy fireballs. Punish things that you wouldn't normally be able to punish. A medium kick or an EX DP would have definitely whipped there. I anytime you see an opening, you can just let this thing rip. And even if it doesn't hit flush, it's still in your favor. Let's see, that's, that poison stand heavy punch would definitely would have made the stand medium kick whiff there. Interrupt block strings easily. So here's an interesting scenario here. Oh, no luck with the stand medium kicks. Let's get a little bit closer. Bam, heavy punch. Easy. 
Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this helpful and you need more yummy Akuma info, just go to twitch.tv slash Bradford Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm always talking about Akuma crap. So I'll see you guys there.